Hi, this is Rita Rosen Poli, director and curator of the Temple Judea Museum, and this is my piece for our current exhibition, Moral Compass, Artists React to Crisis. My work over the past 50 years has always been non-objective, meaning it doesn't tell an obvious story. This is one step beyond abstract. In non-objective work, an artist is concerned with the formal elements of art, shape, color, texture, line, dark, and light, and those elements tell whatever story the viewer wants to read into them. But for um, now, for this time that I was working in my studio during the pandemic, I had no obvious motivation to create a work that was in reaction to the isolation I was feeling and to the pressure I was feeling from all of the terrible things that were happening in our world. Black Lives Matter and um, the environmental crisis and um, the pandemic. However, as I was working on this new piece, all of a sudden a title came into my head. And this never has happened to me before. A t the title is Landscape of Fear. I don't know if this work resonates with you in that way. I'll tell you why this title, I think, jumped into my mind. Across the top, you can see a blue horizon. At the very top, a sun. But it's not a normal horizon. It's not a normal landscape. You can see the um, circular shapes, the square shapes, shapes that are unfamiliar, jumping out at you, very disquieting. And then from the horizon, there are these tentacles reaching down, almost like a man of war jellyfish with its poison poisonous tentacles reaching out to cause harm. And at the very bottom, again, a disquieting area not a normal landscape, not a normal um, um, of what anything we refer to or think of as the ground around us. But uh, what is this red shape? What is the fire? What is this nexus at the bottom that seems to possibly engulf us? So um, this is my work that I created for the Moral Compass exhibition. It's a very esoteric take on my feelings of the pandemic, but I hope it resonates with you. Here are a few details. I hope you'll get to see the exhibition in person at the Temple Judea Museum. And if not, I hope you will enjoy all of the YouTube videos that we've posted by all of the artists who are participating in the exhibition. Thank you. I'm looking for a time when I can create a work called Landscape of Peace, not Landscape of Fear. <laughs>